For centuries, explorers from around the world have searched for magical water, a curative spring, the fountain of youth, where pure and refreshing water could make the body healthy, resilient, and turn back the hands of time. Even in modern times, the search for healing water continues. When scientists conducted experiments on places where water was said to have miraculous properties, like Lourdes in France and glacial streams in the Himalayas, they made an amazing and important discovery. The pH levels of these beneficial waters tended to be very alkaline and highly ionized. About 40 years ago, Russian scientists ran ordinary water past magnetically charged plates and devised a simple method of separating water into two streams, one alkaline and one acidic, a process called ionization. This early ionization technology has been advanced and improved to the point that now simple tap water can be literally transformed into living, energized water with a wealth of life-changing properties. Some scientists even suspect that it's the accumulation of acidic wastes that triggers aging and disease. My foundational theory is that there's only one sickness and one dis disease, and that's the over-acidification of the blood, then tissues. What causes this? Lifestyle and dietary choices. So all disease is a consequence of choice what we're eating, what we're drinking, and what we're thinking. The body has to work very hard to maintain its pH level because we are constantly producing acid wastes. Nutrients from our food are delivered to our cells, which they burn with oxygen, to provide energy for us to live, leaving byproducts or wastes, which are almost always acidic. Our bloodstream would normally just pick up these wastes and filter them through the liver, kidneys, colon, or skin for elimination. But our high-stress lifestyles, lack of rest, type of foods we eat, toxins or pollutants we're exposed to, and a myriad of other factors impact our body's ability to dispose of acidic wastes quick enough. So the body plays a clever trick, converting acidic wastes to solid wastes, then storing the solid wastes in less critical areas, like arteries, capillary blood vessels, or fat tissues. You see, most people don't understand the obesity equation. But obesity is the body in, perfect, in a perfect way protecting itself against over-acidity. body will do everything it can to maintain that alkalinity by pulling electrons from the water we drink or the food we eat to maintain the delicate pH balance of the most important fluid of the body and that's the blood. Alkaline ionized water is loaded with negatively charged hydroxyl ions which act as powerful and pervasive antioxidants in the body actively seeking out positively charged free radicals that wreak havoc on our cells when we take antioxidants we're helping to neutralize the acids that are produced through metabolism if you really need the antioxidant protection nothing is more powerful than this water ionized water is actually restructured during electrolysis which significantly improves hydration because the water becomes easier for the body to absorb and utilize water from tap or bottled sources is normally clustered in groupings containing eleven to sixteen water molecules but alkaline ionized water is reformed during ionization and the water molecules reduced to only about five to eight molecules per cluster. This allows the water to penetrate the cells easier and can help battle or prevent many of the problems associated with chronic dehydration, such as low energy, digestion disorders, constipation, and obesity. Microclustering splits the, the water, the size of the water clusters in half so that they are much more deeply penetrating in the body. They're able to actually enter the cell and cleanse the cell from within. Because rather than have a big ball trying to go into a cell, we have tiny little balls of H2O that can then permeate the membranes, hydrating that cell, which is so very, very important. Alkaline ionized water is also oxygen saturated. As water is ionized, the percentage of oxygen to hydrogen increases significantly, giving you a rich source of extra oxygen in a highly absorbable form, which can be almost double the amount of tap or bottled water. Drinking alkaline and ionized water provides extra oxygenation indirectly. 
because when we're when we're in an alkaline state the body cells particularly the blood cells the erythrocytes then flow to every part of the body we're hydrated and of course the cells move through a river and that river is an alkaline river perhaps most importantly alkaline ionized water can help give your body back its own ability to function at its highest level and maintain a proper pH balance by providing a rich source of alkaline minerals like calcium magnesium and potassium that the body can easily use if someone was to ask me what is the one thing that I can do to have better health and the answer would be very simple start drinking alkalized and ionized water even if you're eating acidic foods the most important thing is to start putting in the electron rich alkaline fluid so you can neutralize those acids from the foods that you are eating and help to maintain that alkaline design Water electrolyzed into alkaline and acidic water has proven to be effective in many ways. In our series featuring this so-called miracle water, we look again at how this water is being used in the medical field. Athlete's foot is a nasty fungal disease and a painful condition. It is very difficult to cure. Many people suffer from athlete's foot after wearing shoes for long periods of time. But athlete's foot can be cured just by water. Do you believe that it is just water that is used in this treatment? No, I don't believe it. Do you feel any pain in the affected part? No, I don't. If this cures it, I will tell others about this. This is Kiowa Hospital. At the hospital, athlete's foot, hands, and bed sores are treated only with water. The doctor says that unless there is infection, the troubled part will heal completely. It is necessary just to irrigate and apply a bandage. The treatment of this injury caused by a motorcycle accident was just dipping it in the water for 15 minutes. Do you think the water was actually a disinfectant solution? Yes, I thought it was a disinfectant solution at first, but later I learned that it was just acidic water. How did you feel about that? Well, I doubted it would heal the injury. Don't worry, the water has an excellent sterilizing effect. The electrolysis of water produces alkaline water at the cathode and acetic water at the anode. We are using acid water with a pH value of 2.6. This high acid water kills fungus, mold, and bacteria, though that may seem hard to believe. In this laser color microscope, you can see how the bacteria actually died. The bacteria you see moving here is spirilla, which is similar to the bacteria that causes syphilis. Acid water is poured over it and it stops moving immediately. Bacteria such as spirilla and many others can only survive in an, in an environment with a pH of between 3 and 4. With strong acid water that has a pH of 2.6, they don't stand a chance. We don't use anesthetics, we only use acid water, that's all. One of the patients allowed us to take pictures of his bed sores and how they healed. It worked right down to the bone. 
Bed sores even this bad are healed by only the water. It works better than any medicine. Electrolyzed acid water works well, especially for bed sores. We visited Akashi Hospital to look at some of the promising results. We only used electro electrolyzed water for treatment. No ointments, medicine, or other disinfectants were used. There's been no infection now for two weeks. The recovery from these bed sores has been very good. It is very surprising. It is amazing. This reporter was told that after the patients drank the electrolyzed drinking water, their, face, their feces became odorless. Despite the fact that the patients were wearing paper diapers, there was no fecal odor at all in the sick rooms. The patient recovery rate was in fact so rapid that more and more patients are getting around in wheelchairs. Because of the drastic improvements at the hospital, even doctors and nurses are taking the electrolyzed water home and drinking it. Our reporter went back to Kiowa Hospital to find out more advantages of alkaline water. We boil alkaline water to use it for making baby's milk. All the employees here usually drink tea made from boiled alkaline water. I hear you don't catch colds. No, everyone here is fine because they drink alkaline water. In this hospital, a machine from which patients can drink alkaline water was installed seven years ago. There are people here who claim to have cured their sclerosis of the liver or diabetes, which are very hard to treat with Western medicine, simply by drinking electrolyzed alkaline water. This is Katsumi Nakanishi, who recovered from sclerosis of the liver. I drank a lot of water as I had a bad liver and it was always burning. My numbers went down and down. I am well now. Shigeru Ta Takahashi, who recovered from diabetes, said, I could not believe the water could cure my diabetes in the beginning. I have been suffering from diabetes for 14 years, but the alkaline water cured me. What happens inside the body? We interviewed a doctor who teaches the effective use of this water on the body. The chief editor of the Water Society, Dr. Hidemitsu Hayashi. You will have clean feces if you drink the alkaline water, which detoxifies or neutralizes toxic substances like hydrogen sulfide and ammonia found in the feces. The toxic substances will start to decrease as you drink the water and you will have a healthier liver, the organ which has the function of neutralizing toxic substances in the body. All of the organs in the body will start to improve and you will feel better. Many diseases including high blood pressure, stomach ulcers and duodenal ulcers improve as a result of drinking this water. According to our cameraman Matsumoto, the patient we saw at the beginning, the one with athlete's foot, was cured in two weeks, and the man who had the motorcycle accident was healed in three weeks. It is really amazing. <laughs>